Hello. So what I'm doing here is an update on my largest and oldest blasto coral. When I first got this guy, it was two and with maybe like a third or fourth head forming on the back. Um, this guy, as you can see here, has really branched out. I've actually lost count of how many heads it has. It's got so many. I'm actually probably going to have to take this down to my local fish store and frag it. Um, just simply because it's, it's reached the point where, um, I, it's going to probably start struggling to, uh, put out new heads <laughs> just because they're kind of getting choked out by one another. But if you look there, you can actually see where they've kind of grown out onto the rock work there and it's going to spread out and probably continue to fill out on the rock work. Um, I'll try and see if I can get a shot of the back of this thing just so you can kind of see how it's just kind of filled in and just become a really big sort of puff ball. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you look back over here, you know, you can see it just, it goes all the way around the back and everything and it's just basically one large mass. So anyway, um, I'm trying to remember, I think I've had this guy I want to say between a year and a half and two years now. And uh, yeah, as I said, it originally it started out as a little two-headed frag. I picked this up. Um, it was part of a tank teardown that somebody turned in at my local fish store. I picked it up for 10 bucks, and now, you know, if I were to buy it like this, I'd probably be spending 70 to 80 bucks. Um, easy, if not more than that, for this thing. So uh, anyway... That's all part of the reason why I really enjoy buying corals as frags because they save you a lot of money and you get to watch them grow out like this and grow and develop over time. It's just a lot easier and a lot more fun, in my opinion, to watch them just grow out. But yeah, as I said, you can really see that where they just kind of branched out under the rock work there. Um, I still stand by my statement that I made in other videos here. A lot of people sit there and say, oh, you know, it's all about the softies for beginner corals. Uh, I would say for most people, um, these more uh, common blastos, uh, I would put near the top of my list for one of the newer beginner corals. These things have just been incredibly hardy. Uh, I don't do really much of anything to these guys. Um, once in a great while, I might dose some reef, uh, or not reef roids, uh, coral feast. I've switched to that. Coral feast. And occasionally, you know, once every few weeks or so, maybe doing a little bit of alkalinity, but that's it. That's that's really all I do to these things. They basically, they take care of themselves. Um, now, I am running um, AI Hydra 26 HDs for light, so I am running what are considered to be among the better LED lights. But, um, you know... I've seen other people run these with lights that are less expensive and have no problem. So um, I still stand by that, that I would say that Blastos would be a coral I would look at if you're a beginner and looking in to get into something that's not going to be too demanding or too time consuming for you. And you can pick them up relatively cheap if you pick them up as, you know, just like a single head or, or a couple heads or something like that. They're not going to be a coral that's, you know, you're going to have to sell a kidney for or anything. So anyways, I just figured I'd give an update on this coral and just kind of show you guys how it's really just filled out, grown in all over the place. And uh, yeah, as I said, I'm probably going to have to take it down to my local fish store and have them frag it for me before too long just because it's getting to the point where it's going to start choking out some of the new heads that come in. And anyway, that's all I've got, and thanks for watching.